As we walk into the, the new, newly redesigned 312 VBH, um, first quick glance, I mean, you'll be able to see interior-wise, along with the whole touring lineup, we've, we've changed the interior look. Um, we've gone to two different colored cabinets, which is standard in every floor plan, every model. Uh, there's no option for this color or an option for this color that's going to have both colors. Um, you got your antique white, you got your heirloom uh, maple hand glazed cabinet doors. Um, that's going to be in all your tourings. As we walk right in here, you'll see some of the other things that we've done is we've gone to a main control board by IRV. Um, in the touring, you download a, a, a smartphone app and the app is called IRV Control. Literally take your phone, sync it within 10 seconds. It's that easy. That will operate your slide outs, your lights, all that good stuff. If you do the option with the solar panel, which is from Go Power, then you're going to have Go Power board right here reading, which is also has the Bluetooth connectivity, um, USB port. This sits right here, it's telling us we got 13.5 volts. Uh, so it will always read what kind of power you, you have coming on, in on your battery. As we walk into the 312 here, um, you'll see we, we've had uh, kind of make some changes with the whole bedroom setup back there. Before the second AC or heat control was always back further. Now that the bathroom's back there, we couldn't really do that with the bunk bed. So you'll find both thermostats here for dual AC, two ACs in this 312. Um, again, nice farm style look on your doors with the arch opening. As we come into the bedroom here, you'll see just like majority of our tourings, um, they all have a master bedroom slide, 312 VBH. Comes standard with a king bed slide out. You've got your nice seating area up here in front of your window. Of course it has shades, so you can always close that at nighttime. Um, you've got extra storage, great place if somebody wants to read, they can put their books there. Um, CPAP machine, that, why we designed that won't really work there with the bed being over there. But as you scan back towards, you'll notice that we did put USB ports and um, some outlets up here. So big enough sh cabinets to where if you want to put your CPAP up here, you still can and you don't have to put it away every morning, take it out every night. You'll see also every bedroom in your Sport Trek Touring comes with fireplace in their master bath. Plenty of storage in here. You've got the storage above the bed. You've got a hanging closet on both sides. Of course, storage here on both sides, storage here, back there. You've got three dresser, three drawer dresser over here. Underneath, big enough, put some shoes, dog bowl, pet bowl, good size drawers, more storage. Now, as we're walking out of the bedroom here, going into the main living area, see that we're coming into the kitchen area. Um, kitchen, just like every, all our other stuff, that you're always going to find a, a safety uh, storage box here. Perfect place to put your keys, cell phone, be done with it for the weekend. Don't have to worry about losing anything. You can charge your cell phone right here, put your keys, done. Um, you'll see the new white glazed cabinets in the kitchen area with the new Furion microwave and below that the new 21, 21 inch Furion oven glass top that also has a new safety feature to where if this burner or this stove is on, it will turn red. If it's off and it's still warm, it will also stay wet and red until it cools down. That's just a nice little safety feature they put in. Uh, new farm style big bowl sink. Nice sprayer faucets new. Um, as you scan over towards the seating and I guess living area, 
This is our option. It's called King U Sofa. Only comes with the one table there, the Live Edge table. Uh, but it really opens up the unit compared to having a regular dinette and then either theater seats or trifold sofa. What's nice about this King Sofa is the table is easy to take down. You can store it below. But you will have storage drawer on both sides. Heavy duty storage drawer. Has a button to keep it locked in if you need that. It's on both ends of the King U sofa. And then in addition to that, the three sections of this King U sofa slash dinette actually folds out um, like a trifold sofa. But what it has is it folds out and it comes equipped with an air mattress, queen air mattress. So you actually have another queen bed sleeping area here. And that mattress, is a, there's an outlet behind for it. It'll blow up in less than 60 seconds. It'll deflate in less than 60 seconds. So another different sleeping area, instead of having a sofa to sleep on or a dinette, you have another queen bed here if need be. Kind of back and forth here as we kind of scan around, you're gonna see the new Furion 12 volt refrigerator. That is now standard in everything that we build, uh, Sport Trek or Sport Trek touring wise. We do still have the option for a gas electric refrigerator, but standard is the bigger 10 cube, 12 volt. And it's actually running right now. So I know back years ago, there was a concern about the sound and the function and operation of the, of the 12 volt refrigerators. They've come a long way. Furion, as you can tell, it's running right now. If I quit talking, you can barely hear it. So going to the entertainment center here, of course, standard in your living room. Again, in the touring is you're going to get a second fireplace because you had one in the bedroom, master bedroom. You've got one here. Huge amount of storage above this TV entertainment area. So I'm 6'1", I've got some pretty long arms. I cannot reach the back. That's how much storage there is here. And then also on this floor plane, if you pull the TV out, tilt it, you have some more storage behind the TV. Um, good place to keep some valuables or a small safe. Most people would never look to even pull that TV out. It goes all the way back behind, so. Again, any, any extra storage you can get, we're gonna to try to utilize. So as we come around to the back here, you'll see double over double bunks. Good size storage there. We move the bunks from the door side to the off door side now. Um, got storage there. You've got good amount of storage here. Bed folds up. Good place for coolers, bikes, if this isn't going to be used. Of course, USB ports for the kids. Top and bottom bunk. And then we come into the new bathroom, which again, same bathroom setup as the old 312. We just put it on the door side so we can now have a second entrance door. Some people don't like that in the bathrooms. For a bunkhouse, it's perfect. The kids can walk in to this bathroom, this door, without if they're dirty, without tracking mud through the entire camper to get back to the bathroom. The whole reason why we put that second entrance door in. 